is up, everybody? Welcome back to my Pokemon Heart Gold Nuzlocke Randomizer. Last time we headed up this way, caught a Chingling, and I avoided this guy because he is scary as fuck. Because he's got a Kadabra that will ruin your weekend. Literally. Ruin your weekend. So I'm going to throw up Mama Bear here first against his Abra. And the headbutt takes down one shot. So here's the scary Kadabra. I can't use Ryu or Ares because they're both fighting. Mama Bear's too weak. Mystery's too weak. I think I'll just use Caboose here. I think Caboose could do... I think Caboose could do good. Hopefully. I really don't want to lose Caboose. I think he's the only one that could stand up to this Kadabra. Oh, God. Confusion. Confusion. Oh, okay. That didn't actually do that much. That actually did not do that much. Well, let's see how much Razor Leaf does. It actually kills the Kadabra with a critical hit. So that crit probably made a difference. Caboose is going to go up to level 19. That's pretty sweet. And another Abra coming out, so let's throw back out Mama Bear. And a headbutt here. So that takes out the uh, Abras, and uh, Mark is defeated. So that was pretty easy, actually. Huh. So we're going to head back to the National Park, and actually, the National Park, I'm not going to do the Bug Catcher Contest, because that is not randomized. For some reason, that's not randomized at all. So, I'm just going to try and catch this guy. It is a Schmeargle. So I'll try and catch the Schmeargle. Why not? I'll use Cut here. It's going to sketch. Oh, shit. Well, Cut... Kills a Smeargle. It's probably because it is a stab move. And does 75 damage. Shit. The world is deep, but there's lots of things we no do not know. But I do... I know more than you do. Oh, really, nerd? You kidding me? School Kid Jack. You're dropping all your supplies out of your backpack. You're really smarter than me. That's all right with the Smeargle. I really didn't want it. I mean, Smeargle is known as the date rapist Pokemon, so I don't want to have that on my team. And Cut misses, so he's just going to absorb. And I'm going to cut that Oddish down to size. So Mono Bear is getting some some good stuff. And I'll bring out a Ryu here. Go up against his Voltorb. Double Kick's going to take out the Voltorb. And... We beat School Kid Jack. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Your knowledge is impressive. I like that. Would you like to trade battle tips? You said you're smarter than me, and now you want battle tips from me. Go cluck yourself, Jack. Go cluck yourself straight to H-E double hockey sticks. So I'm going to heal up Mama Bear there. And let's go look for some more trainers here. I know there's a bunch of them in here. Because I know my Pokemans. So let's battle this lady. She's probably a she's probably a Poke fan lady. My Pokemon are simply adoring. Let me tell you how proud my darling makes me. So this the lady's creepy as hell. And his Poke fan Beverly. He's got a bunch of Bonsly. You know what? Bonsly would be pretty sweet. Got a why a uh, uh, Snubble. So let's bring in let's bring in Ares actually to take on this Snubble. It's gonna bite me. Not very effective. And the Mac Punch will just kill it. Got a crit. That probably mattered. Ares up to level 19, and I totally destroyed that lady's day. So I do not want to chat with you, lady, because you're creepy, and I don't want to talk to you. Oh, look, Mom's calling. Ignore! So let's keep on heading through this place, looking for more people. Don't really want to head through the grass, because I don't want to run into Pokemon. Then I get jealous that I can't catch... Combuskin, that's fine. I already have a uh, Infernape. So let's go after this guy here, and I find another Pokemon. And Regice. Let's get the hell out of here, because that thing's going to blow up. So I find a new guy here. Actually, that's a girl. Hello, why are you staring at me? Oh, a battle? No, I'm staring into your your crystal blue eyes, because I just I just can't take my eyes off you, you pretty lady you. Of course I want to battle. Ah, women are so stuck up. They think every time you look at them, you're trying to, like, uh, undress them with your eyes and stuff like that. I mean, 
Yes, okay. You're a little bit pretty. I'm not gonna deny that. I'm not- I'm just not gonna. But, you don't have to, like, brag about your hotness or whatever. So, Mama Bear's almost up to 18. A Cubone coming in, so let's switch out of here. Bring in Mystery. Cubone being a ground type, it's perfect. It's perfect, perfect opponent for Mystery. He's gonna just water gun the crap out of this Cubone, and it'll take two water guns, and that Cubone's totally dead. So, Mystery, just over half experience. Getting up to 18. You think, you think I'm cool, right? How about we exchange phone numbers? Yeah. You yell at me for staring at you, and now you want my number. Like I said, women are fickle. Just fickle. We adore our Pokemon, even if they dislike us. That's what being a Poke fan is all about. Yeah, you're a great trainer if your Pokemon dislike you. And that dude's just letting his kid climb all over him. Dude's gonna write you, though. That's pretty killer. I'm gonna switch out into Caboose, though, because Caboose can take electric attack for days. This dude's gonna tail whip, so Thundershock's not gonna do anything. Razor Leaf almost kills the Raichu in one shot. And that finishes off Raichu. Mama Bear's up to 18. Pokey fan William is totally defeated. So let's see what we find here. It is a Gulpin. That's pretty cool. Poison type. I gotta get a Gulpin. I might not use him, but I'd get him. Mom's calling again, Jesus Christ. I may not look like it, but I have many pokey walkers on me. They make a lot of noises as I walk. Maybe taking a stroll isn't as easy as I thought. Yeah, whatever, lady. Okay. Oh, look, there's an entrance here. What's this guy doing? He's like on his texting or something. Huff, puff, huff. I'm out of breath. I've been running trying to charge the pokey walker. Well, you're cool. So let's go down here. I know there's like a pokeballer. Oh, I gotta use rock climb. Shit. I think there's something over here, though. If I just run all the way down there. Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure there's something over here. This park is very pretty at night. It's got the, uh, got the lights there and all that jazz. I found TM28 Dig. That's kind of useful. Anything else down here? No. So we gotta head back up. Got Mama Bear in... Got Mama Bear in tow. And I actually don't even know when Mama Bear or or Mystery evolves. Actually, I have not I've not bothered to look. I don't even know if like Mama Bear evolves based on happiness or something like that. Oh crap! There's another there's another Pokeball down there that I missed almost. Maybe it's worth it. Maybe not. Who knows? I'll find out. It's a Soothe Bell. And funny enough, I was just talking about uh, happiness levels, and actually that's what the Soothe Bell does, makes your Pokemon more happy, so... Crazy segue there. But I think I battled everybody I can in here, so let's move on. I already defeated that dude. So, actually... Did I miss something in here? No, there's nothing in here. I thought there was, like, barriers or something that I missed. Alright, we can battle this dude here. See what he has to say. I can properly prepare for any Pokemon adversary. Oh, congratulations. School kid. Why are all the school kids just dropping shit out of their backpacks? It's kind of annoying. He's got a Tangela. I think Mama Bear can take care of that. Got your special attack up and poisoned. Really, bro? You gonna poison Mama Bear? Absorbed actually does a lot, and I'm gonna get the hell out of here. And I'm going to bring in Ares so that your little Absorb trick is not going to do anything. And burn in hell. Alright, so Tangela, totally defeated. Ares getting a lot of experience from that. Huh? Is my prediction incorrect? You bet it is. I'm reading textbooks and walking. I'm looking down, notice items on the ground. If you find something, I'll give it to you. Sure. Useful items, I guess. Whatever. So, Mama Bear's out front here. Let's get her out of here since she's all poisoned and such. So, what's this lady doing here? I'm the flower shop, Floria. Listen, listen. When I sprinkle water on that wiggly tree, it jumped right up. It has to be a Pokemon. If you soak it... Oh, that's a squirt bottle. Soak the tree for me. I want to see what happens. Don't boss me around, bitch. There's an odd tree. Squirt bottle? Yes, I will. And you know what I should have done? 
I shouldn't have gone in the grass there. I could have freaking caught the pseudo wudo. But it was, it's a calculated risk. It's like I can get a pseudo wudo or I can get a random Pokemon. It's like that Family Guy episode. You can either take the boat or you can have the mystery box. It's like they came there for the boat, but a boat's a boat. The mystery box could be anything. It could even be a boat. So you go with the mystery box, and you know what? Fuck it. Sometimes you get a uh, sometimes you get a Meg Mortar that uh, that dies. It happens. So Sudowoto's dead. That was kind of terrible, but oh well. Mystery almost gets up to level 18 there. What's this lady got to say? That was fun. I want to give you this for entertaining me. So I get a berry pot. Bitches just giving me items because they love me. With the berry pots, you can grow any berry from any region with no worries. That's right. I'll give you some berries, too. Berry pots won't, won't do any good without berries. So she gives me the orange berry. That's pretty nice of her. And a peca berry. Or a peach berry. Whatever you want to call it. Plant berries in soil. Water them from time to time. They'll grow strong. I gotta go back to Goldenrod. Are you heading to Ecritique? And you should go north here. See you around. Alright. So instead of going north, though, I'm gonna go this way. Yo! You even had trouble with a boulder blocking your way. Of course you have. For people like you, there's an HM that will come to the rescue. So this dude just gave me an HM for just talking to him. It's pretty nice. It contains make him faint rock smash. You can use it to smash boulders once you've earned the Violet City gym badge. But beware. Hidden moves like this are hard for your Pokemon to forget once they've learned them. You should think carefully which Pokemon should learn it. Well, I already got the Violet City gym badge. In fact, I got that a while ago. So I'm going to use Rock Smash. Maybe somebody can learn it. Paula can learn it. Actually, almost everybody can learn it. I'm going to make Paula learn it. She can be my Rock Smash slave for now. And I'll get rid of Growl. Curse could be useful. Who knows? So she learned Rock Smash. Isn't that nice of her? So we actually didn't come over here at all, I guess, then. What's this person got to say? The odd tree is gone, as if it walked away. What? It was a Pokemon? Well, finally, I can go to Ecritique to go do some shopping. If you follow the path where the odd tree was, you'll reach Ecritique City. Thanks. So I got to go heal up. My Pokemon are totally dying from poison. And Mama Bear survived. Hooray! You know what? I'm back here. I have Headbutt. Why don't I use headbutt on one of these trees here? Maybe I can catch something. Hopefully it doesn't take forever. I've had that before. I head, I'm headbutting uh, trees and it just takes forever to find something. I wonder if headbutting is randomized. There's just certain things that isn't randomized. I guess it kind of would be hard to randomize them, maybe. So let's headbutt some trees here. Would I like to headbutt it? You bet. Mystery used headbutt, and nothing appeared. So let's go over here. Headbutt some more. And nothing. Awesome. Ah, crap. I keep hitting. I keep clicking mystery. Mystery is fighting off sleep. It is kind of laid out. Uh, who doesn't have... Oh, Ryu doesn't have it. So I'm going to throw Ryu in the front here. This way it'll go quicker, because then it won't be using Ryu to actually do the headbutting. It'll just happen. So, nothing there. Let's keep moving. I really hope I find something with headbutt. Nope, nothing there. I think if you move around, too, it's a, you got a better chance of finding something. Hey, there's, rock, there's a rock. I can rock smash it. It pays... It pays to do stuff, I guess. Yeah, let's rock smash. So there's got to be something up here that I can find. A hyper potion. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Let's headbutt this tree in here, shall we? Maybe that will give me something. Nope. Oh, let's keep headbutting crap. How about how about this? I'll come back. When I actually find something using headbutt, how about that? All right, that sounds good. Holy crap, we found something! All right, it's a hoot hoot. 
So I'm actually guessing the headbutting is not randomized, but... Oh well. I found something in Violet City. So let's bring Paula out here. Gonna use Foresight. And let's yawn this sucker. Wait, it can't fall asleep. That's alright, I need Paula anyway. Otherwise the Hoodoo's gonna just die. So let's use my bag here. Weakened it down enough where a Pokeball should be able to catch it. And not quite. So let's keep going here. And we catch the Hoot Hoot. So we got a flying guy in our, in our box now. It only stands on one foot. It changes feet so fast to move it can rarely be seen. So let's give Hoot Hoot a nickname. And I'm just going to go with Hooters. Because everyone loves a nice, a nice pair of Hooters. I mean, you know, like owls. Everyone loves a nice pair of owls, right? Am I wrong? Let's head to the Pokemon Center here now. I actually didn't heal up Mama Bear while looking. It took me maybe like a minute to find it, I guess. Yeah, I'm guessing headbutting is not randomized. <laughs> that makes me a sad panda. But... We'll throw a mystery in the front. It looks like Mama Bear found something, so let's see what she got. Another antidote. Thank you, Mama Bear. That is very appreciated. So, now that we're done in Violet City again, head back. Head back over this way and up to Ecratique City. Maybe I can find a new Pokemon in the grass there, huh? Let's hope. So we are on a new route coming up here sometime soon. Another Hyper Potion. We found two Hyper Potions there in a very short time. Are we there yet? Hey, we're on a new route. 37 Tanner Tips. The move did can take you back to the entrance when you use it. Cool story, bro. So it looks like we got some double battle here. Let's do it. Why not? Let's battle. All right, I'm bringing out a Pokemon. That is what you do when you battle. Congratulations, you know that. So, Twins, Tori, and Till. I'm going to get Horsey out of here because of the Mareep. Let's bring in Ryu. And Mama Bear can just headbutt the Mareep. He almost killed it one shot there. Thundershock to Ryu. Let's use Brick Break on Meryl. And cut on the Mareep. That should almost kill the, actually almost killed the Meryl there. Just off. So Mystery's going to learn Bubble Beam here, so that's nice. We can get rid of Bubble. And now we got a more powerful water move. Nice. And we're going to use Tail Whip here. Not very effective. Brick Break, and cut. So that defeats the Meryl. Everybody getting some experience, and we defeat the Twins. I lost! I lost! Sounds like an echo in here. There's Mom again. Don't care, Mom. So we got another double battle here, it looks like, and we're that close to grass! Oh, you are a cute little trainer. Why don't you battle me? Whoa, 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 ladies. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's enough Titan to go around. Hey, hey there, you young trainer. Won't you battle with me? Ladies, ladies, ladies. There is enough to go around. Beauty, Callie, and Cassandra. We got two normal types here. So I got an idea. I'm going to bring out Ryu. And I'm going to bring out Ares. You guys will like them. They're fighting type. It double slaps me three times. How does that work? You double slap me three times? That doesn't make any sense. So Mac Punch almost takes up the Clefable. And the Brick Break takes out Wigglytuff. Encore? Sounds good to me. So the Mac Punch again to Clefable. And they're just gonna, you know... Let me do the Brick Break. Ryu up to level 19. And the Brick Break takes care of that dude right there. So, another Wigglytuff. And Mac Punch takes care of most of the Wigglytuff, and Brick Break finishes it off. And R Ares gets up to level 20 now. You're good. Wow, you're strong. Oh, ladies. You look exactly the same. And yet you're not twins. That's kind of weird. So, that will do it for this episode. So, thank you guys for watching, and I will catch a new Pokemon next time.